Hello everyone, I'm a green frog, from the Hillity family. We live mostly in trees and can jump up to 20 times our body length. But today, I'm not here to talk about long jumps. I want to share with you, a miraculous biological journey. The life cycle of the frog family. We, amphibians, go through a very special development process. It's called complete metamorphosis, a full transformation of body, functions, and even habitat. Think all frogs are the same? No way. There are over 7,000 frog species in the world, spread across more than 50 families, all in strange and wonderful shapes. And while you're watching a video about the frog life cycle, don't forget, toads and tree frogs go through the same journey. We're all amphibians, all hatched from eggs, all swimming with tails. And we all belong to the order Inura, the group of tail-less amphibians. When breeding season arrives, male frogs call out with their signature sounds to attract females. Each species has its own frequency and tone helping them recognize one another amid nature's noisy chorus. Female frogs don't call, but they quietly choose their mates based on the size, rhythm, and persistence of the call. Some species, like pond frogs, lay thousands of eggs leaving them to the mercy of survival odds. Others lay just a few and guard them like precious treasures. Some frogs lay eggs on leaves hanging over water. When the tadpoles hatch, they drop straight into the pond below. Some fathers even swallow the eggs into their vocal sacs, incubating them right in their throats. All of these are stunning evolutionary strategies designed to protect the most fragile thing of all, life. Inside the jelly-like capsule, the embryo begins to develop, in rhythm with the water and temperature around it. If lucky enough to avoid being eaten or dried out, within days or weeks, the egg begins to crack. Out comes a tiny creature, not yet a frog, but a tadpole, the amphibian's firstborn form. No legs, no arms, tadpoles look like tiny fish, breathing through gills and swimming with tails. They gather in schools, drifting in the water, feeding on algae and organic debris. But danger lurks everywhere, water bugs, fish, birds, snakes. From thousands of hatchlings, only a few dozen may survive, only the fastest, strongest, and luckiest continue the journey. After a few weeks, the tadpole's body begins to change. First, its back legs appear, then the front legs. Gills gradually disappear, replaced by lungs. Its digestive system transforms, from feeding on algae to hunting like a land animal. This process is called metamorphosis, one of nature's greatest evolutionary marvels. A creature that once lived entirely underwater is now preparing to step onto land, breathe air, and leap with legs. The body must completely readjust, from the respiratory, digestive, and nervous systems to the skin, which will now face dry air and the harsh conditions of life on land. From a tadpole to a froglet, we've grown legs, lost our tails, and switched to breathing with lungs. Now comes the leap, out of the water and onto dry land. And on land, predators are everywhere, birds, snakes, spiders, ants, even bigger frogs. This is a do-or-die phase, only the survivors will carry on the lineage. Out of a thousand eggs, only one or two might reach adulthood. Most young frogs never make it. They're eaten, die from disease, or simply can't adapt to the changing world. But if lucky enough to survive, we grow into adult frogs, with far stronger survival tools. Our lungs are now fully functional. Our skin adjusts to drier environments, helping absorb oxygen and retain moisture. We hunt with our tongues, lightning fast and deadly accurate. One tongue strike takes only 0.07 seconds. This is when we return to the cycle, seeking mates, defending territories, and reproducing. But survival doesn't mean safety. Adult frogs still face predators, pollution, deforestation, and climate change. But more than that, we are highly sensitive ecological indicators. With our moist skin, delicate lungs, and water-dependent lives, any pollution, climate shift, or deforestation hits us first. When frogs begin to vanish, it's the first alarm bell that ecosystems are breaking down. We don't cry out with words, but our silence is nature's scream for help. And so, our strange little journey comes to an end. I hope that through my story, you'll love nature a little more and understand small creatures just a little better. And who knows one summer night, when you hear the croak in the dark. Maybe you'll remember me, a little green frog, telling the story of my life.